Hey folks, welcome to the Daily Dude. Today's video will be short and sweet because the duder had to mow the yard. Let's get to your random fact about you. So I love foraging for asparagus and morel mushrooms and um, elderberries. That is Morgan from A Joyful Home. A link to her channel and 30 facts video is below. Today's video comes from Association of Specialty Cut Flower Growers. They've got a few interesting videos, but this video, Local Flowers, Local Farmers, a Growing American Movement, almost makes me want to become a flower farmer. Today, most of the cut flowers we buy are imported from distant lands, but now, Local flower farmers across the U.S. are staging a comeback. Nobody in the Hill Country or anywhere in Texas was growing locally grown cut flowers. And we did that as an offshoot of our greenhouse business. And we took them into town and we went to the local Whole Foods store and we said, we're growing cut flowers. Would you be interested in carrying local flowers? And they said, this is incredible. Where would you get these? And we said, well, we're out in Blanco. And, and they said, we want all you can grow. And Local cut flowers is an option that some homesteaders might want to strongly consider as an extra income source from the farm. We grow on two acres of land in the city of Philadelphia and we work from seed to centerpiece so that means that the flowers that we grow here at the farm are used in the centerpieces from the wedding uh, and we do not buy in other flowers so we really only work with what we can grow ourselves. Now, I don't know anything about growing flowers, and I'm sure it's a lot harder than it sounds, but I am pretty sure that the demand for local flowers is not going to go down, so that it really is an option for homesteaders. In 1991, Congress created the Andean Trade Preference Act, eliminating tariffs on flowers and other products from Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. The result? About 80% of flowers sold in the U.S. today are imported. It left many of our small to medium-sized growers in the United States out in the cold. That trade agreement is only part of the story. We're also sending those countries billions in foreign aid every year. And the reason behind that trade agreement and the billions in foreign aid is so that we can try to get them to quit growing the coca plant. And I'll let you connect those dots. Uh, we're keeping this one short. My random fact for today, uh, yesterday was um, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, no, that was the day before. Yesterday was aquariums and cichlids and I'm tired. I need a nap. We'll get to my random fact. Yesterday's was I had aquariums and I, I forgot to mention I that was one of my dreams was to have a, my own little pet store one day. Um, no money in that. Don't do that, kids. Uh, today's random fact is sports. In addition to all that stuff I was doing, going camping and uh, traveling, I was really into sports as a kid. I started playing uh, baseball was my favorite uh, in the summer, and I played that all the way up until my sophomore year of high school. Uh, didn't play didn't play baseball for the school. I played in in the public leagues or whatever they are. Um, and in the winter, I played basketball all the way up until high school. I was on our eighth grade basketball team at uh, my junior high school. Sat the bench. I think I scored eight points all year. But I did score one basket at, uh, we were winning by like 23 points, so I got into the game, and I hit a buzzer beater from the top of the key. All right, so that's my, no, that's not my best sports story. But anyway, trying to keep this one short, what else did I play? Flag football. I did not play uh, tackle football, so I played flag football till probably seventh grade. And I was in a bowling league all the way up until high school. So score one for the Deuterino there. Um, that's it. Take care and always use a wind filter. Thank you for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. And thanks for all the great comments I'm getting. 
If you like my videos, please like and um, check out my past videos too.